gotten so many sweet comments on my previous videos and lots of requests for another food diary video so I decided to film immediately for you guys. Unfortunately I don't have a lot of time to edit these days so the video will be posted a bit later but you know it's gonna be there and it's gonna be great to take you on another day with me. Okay so I started my day with a cup of ginger tea and two slices of bread which I ate before my morning dog walk. Um, it was raining like hell so I decided to eat before and um, the dog walk was also cut rather short because the rain was actually pouring down. Um, I wasn't really in the mood to get out of the car and neither were the dogs, as you can see. Anyway, I ate my bread with this new organic chocolate that I bought at the bio shop, which was 100% cacao, um, just to try it. But I think in the future I'll probably stick to a lower percentage because, damn, it was bitter. Um, here by some Snapchat footage. After my walk, which was at around 9.30, I cut up a shitload of watermelon and I ate it with some yogurt. Usually I'll have an apple or a banana with my yogurt or my oatmeal. Um, but today I, tr I tried to just switch it up a little bit. Um, the dogs too approved of the yogurt. After breakfast, I went to the mall with my mom and my sister. As you've probably already noticed in the video, we're all home today and it's the only day this week that I don't have to work at all. Um, so it's gonna be different than my usual videos where I'm just busy all the time. Well, I hope so. Anyway, we all had our shops we needed to go to and we were gone for a very long time. As a snack, I ate this beautiful pastry. We got back home from the shops at around 2.30 and then we still had to prepare lunch and eat. So this took place at around 3 o'clock ultimately. For lunch we had some of yesterday's leftover mashed potatoes with bacon and leek and curry sauce. Um, yesterday we ate it with salmon but we finished all of that so yeah this was all that was left. After the mashed potatoes I had some salad with tomatoes, a boiled egg, ham and carrots and peas. I also cut up four slices of bread but that was a little bit too optimistic. I started to get a bit of a stomach ache and I wasn't really sure if it was because of the food or because I had eaten too much or because I was eating so late, but it was pretty terrible. Anyway, it was still around a little bit by the time we had dinner, um, so that's why I totally forgot to film. Anyway, dinner was absolute heaven though. It was pasta with shrimps, broccoli, paprika and creamy curry sauce. I was so excited and as I mentioned, I forgot to film. Um, but I did manage to still take a picture when it was basically finished, but still, this is what it looked like. Just look at it. Damn. Anyway, dinner was at around 5.30 because my sister and I were planning to go to yoga to make a non-busy day more busy again. Um, I've often gotten the question whether I exercise at all and usually I just say no or answer with well I walk my dog but that is it and to be honest I don't really feel like my dog walking is really exercise at all because for me it's just like a way of relaxing and having some peace and the same is true with yoga it's about one hour long and it's really relaxing and calming for me. As usual after yoga we returned home and by around 8 30 both of us had another smaller serving of pasta as dessert. I know we're a bit weird like that, but you know, who cares if the dish is so flippin' good. As I mentioned, I was feeling pretty shitty since lunch. Um, so I'm recording the sound to my video today, a day later. I'm still in my PJs and looking like shit, but yeah. I had such a stomach ache and I felt like crap, so I went to bed by 10. 
yesterday and now I have been up since seven o'clock. It's not even eight now that I'm recording. So yeah, I had an early breakfast today at seven and at the same time I was just flipping through my motivation booklet a little. I hope you have one too because it's awesome. It's such a great thing. Um, my mom and I are walking the dogs together this morning but she is still soundly asleep so I decided to record and maybe it would be a good idea to go back to bed because I mean seriously look at my face this is so bad bye Okay, so I ended up not going back to bed. I walked my dogs, had second breakfast, and got on with my day. Um, I still need to shower and teach a lesson, and after that I will watch TV, go to bed, and sleep. And I really feel like I need that. <laughs> but before that, I just wanted to finish off this video um, by answering a question that I've been getting a lot lately. Why am I not vegan? Great question, actually. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only recovering one that's not really turning to veganism. Uh, well, my answer, I guess, is pretty straightforward as well. Although I agree with all the principles of veganism, I feel like it already is quite difficult for me to gain weight as is. So currently, I don't think it would be doable for me to make this change. Um, my parents wouldn't really support it either. I do, however, um, limit my meat intake ever since I was small. I always wanted to be vegetarian, but my parents would actually never allow me. Um, yet, it would be difficult for me to cut out things like milk, eggs, fish, cheese. Um, I do, however, also uh, make sure to buy bio and organic produce and um, even my hair products and shower gel are vegan friendly. I don't use any makeup so that's not a problem. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, that you'll give it a thumbs up and that you will subscribe. Don't forget to connect with me on social media and make sure to keep the following quote forever in your mind. Don't let a stumble in the road be the end of your journey. Keep it up.